How would you like to leave your mark on history? What if I told you that you could influence nations, travel the world, build amazing structures and architecture, visit the romantic 11th, 12th, 13th centuries? How would you like to join the Crusades? Look, I'm knowingly being coy with the theme of Seth Jaffe and Tasty Minstrel Games, Crusaders, Thy Will Be Done. And the point that I'm trying to make with something like this is that, yes, the theme itself is, it's not very pretty. And that's acknowledged in the rule book right off the bat, something that I really commend the publisher and the creator for doing. And the reason I'm even bringing this up is because Crusaders Thy Will Be Done was one of those games, one of those few games that takes a historical theme and gets me more interested in it. In Crusaders Thy Will Be Done, players control knights with one of a bunch of asymmetrical powers. You advance your order and spread your influence using your personal player board. When you take an action, you seed your other actions with the Moncala action circle. So if you want to take the travel action, you count how many action tokens you have on that spot and move your knight or knights that many spaces. Then you pick up all the tokens from that action spot and move around the action wheel clockwise, dropping one token in each space until you run out of tokens. You manage your upgrades and player boards, as well as crusade and spread your influence on board, building churches, farms, castles, and banks, collecting victory points all along the way. Once a set amount of victory points has been claimed from a shared pool, the game ends. Some bonuses are handed out and a victor is declared. All right, now what did I not like about this game in particular? Uh, first of all, as I mentioned, the theme, while interesting to me, um, could prove problematic for some people. Some people very well could be uncomfortable with it. I ultimately was not. This is a theme that when I played it, yes. I mean, the fact that it's acknowledged that the theme itself is an ugly point in human history, that's great. But, but that's not even the point that I'm getting at here as a negative. Um, sure, it was a little bit uncomfortable when there was around, you know, a full room of people and, and I'm muttering under my breath, I'd like to crusade against, again, crusade against the Saxons. But more importantly, this theme is, and I hate this term, but it's accurate, the theme's pasted on. It could have literally been anything. This could have been an opportunity for Andrew Lloyd Webber to redeem the travesty that is Cats in board game form. Uh, and right along with theme is sort of the look of the game. There's some really cool graphic design choices, um, but ultimately, and while the art is not bad, not in the least, it lacks a certain sheen, it lacks a certain polish that you almost come to expect from a game of this caliber. Another thing is that in this game, there's a lot of little pieces. A lot of the setup time, while not something as dramatic as Agricola or Dinosaur Island, is certainly there. And if you play it with two players, you spend a good amount of time setting up for what could be a 30 to 45 minute game. Now, the last thing is, it's an expensive game. This game runs for about $60 retail. And well, understandably so, there's a lot of little pieces and there's a lot of effort that goes into this game. My fear here is that this game is pricing itself out of competition. And I really hope that's not the case because we're about to get into the positives and honestly, I love this game. So let's get into it. One of the real blessings of some of the reviews that I've been getting lately is I've gotten to use the word svelte in my reviews a lot more often. And I like that for two reasons. The first reason is I really like the way that it sounds. The second reason is simply that I like what it conveys about a game. And if I can use it about a game, that's generally a good thing. And that's the case with Crusaders that I will be done. This game is svelte in just about every sense of the word that I can appropriately describe it to, uh, in terms of a board game. As I mentioned, the theme is certainly paced on, but it's serviceable in the graphic design and the artistic choices, well, maybe not the most flashy, work. And they are not distracting and you know exactly what you're doing. It's the type of game that really the best way that I can describe it, which may not be a universally understood concept, but it's like playing a two player game of Dominion where both people know exactly how to play the game. The turns are quick and they're smooth and the choices, while maybe not the most deep strategic choices, there's enough of them to make the choices always interesting. The game is both smooth, svelte as I said, but also those choices that you have, those, those little choices where you've got all the different actions, you can upgrade actions, you can muster your troops, you, you decide what to do. There's so many options at your fingertips and all of them feel right. It's just that timing of when do you prioritize one action over the other. And my final positive for this game is, is probably the biggest, and I mentioned this on a lot of games that I really like, it is fun. Uh, one thing that I, I frequently hear about is when people get so excited about a game that they play it once and immediately set it up and play again. If I'm being honest, that doesn't happen with me too often, unless it's a very short game or a card game, something like that. That happened in the case of Crusaders Thy Will Be Done. I lost horribly to my wife, so we immediately set it up and played again. 
and I lost again, but that's fine because we played the next night again and the, that time I won. The point is, this is a game that I am excited about and I'm excited to play and one that I did genuinely thoroughly enjoy. Thinking about all the points that I've mentioned, the positives, the negatives, and everything, in conclusion, I'm going to summarize everything that I've said in this. I love this game. I wish I was playing it right now. This game is fantastic.